Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th, right? Is that what it is? Is today the 10th? No, today's the 9th. 10th, 11th, 12th, something like that. I'm going to say the 10th. So, what do we have for a message today? Five of Pentacles reversed. So this is an unhealthy relationship. Light at the end of the tunnel. This could be a major loss, but there's a turning point here. Hmm. Somebody may be seeing the light, you know, at the end of the tunnel. Oh, this is, uh, well, that, that's light. Uh, Ace of Cups is very emotional. A flood of emotion. Three of Cups reversed. Now that is parting ways. Time's up. Three of Cups reversed is gossiping you know, between friends that really aren't friends, friends parting ways. This party is over. There's been some sort of competitiveness here. This could be some sort of ghosting as well. This has something to do with the heart. Now, the Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. After a situation where there was neglect, okay? Three of Cups reverse, parting ways, separation. This isn't, it's not, you know, this is a... A termination of some sort. Hmm. Ooh, judgment. Now, judgment, we already talked about this yesterday. Judgment's about karma, right? But judgment is also an absolution. Okay, it's the end. It is the end of something. Will you be forgiven? Okay, will you be forgiven? Now, this is, there's a, there's, this is a, there could have something to do with a reconciliation here. Okay? Now, when I say reconciliation, a reconciliation doesn't have to be with somebody that really hurt you. A reconciliation could be with somebody that, um, you haven't even met yet. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to explain. Um, but anyway, the judgment is a card of forgiveness, awakening. This is a wake up call. Are you ready to be judged? Somebody's about to be judged. Put it that way. It's going to be very, very emotional. Okay. Um, now judgment is... Asking for forgiveness, hoping to be accepted. Somebody may be hoping to be accepted. They may be asking for forgiveness. There may be a there may be an apology of some sort. Now this is a turning point. There's been a third party. Okay, there's been a third party, but it's the end. It's the end of the third party. And the third party doesn't have to be a lover. It could be anybody. It's the you know, it's the other person that has been causing problems in a relationship or a friendship or whatever the case is. This is the end of that third party situation. There could be a reconciliation. There's a new start in love here. There's a new beginning for sure with that Ace of Cups. Judgment. Now this is release. Renewal. It's the end of something. It is the end. You think about Judgment Day when you're you're confessing. Somebody may be confessing. Who knows? You know, will you be forgiven? 
So somebody may be asking for forgiveness. This is also responsibility being assigned. Somebody may be assigned some sort of responsibility for their actions. Now this is about abandonment and neglect. And that may be what they are asking for forgiveness for. For abandoning, for ghosting, for neglect. You know, you neglected. You neglected something. Because this is neglect. And this is begging. See, you know, this person's begging. So somebody may be, I don't know begging for forgiveness they may they may we'll see um ah ace of wands reverse so that is being held down going down going south being weighed down now the five of pentacles reverse can be total ruin somebody's been weighed down by an unhealthy relationship they may be disgraced okay because of that five of pentacles reverse, that's embarrassment. Okay, so somebody may be in, embarrassed, you know. But, and they're not excited about the future. Ace of wands reverse, that's, that's a lack of vision, lack of growth. There could even be some poor health here. Somebody is going down or they've gone down. They've, they've lost their drive, their ambition. They have no desire left. No desire to keep going down that path or something like that. Um, oh, Three of Swords. Now, this is, this is like heartache. Serious heartache. And forgiveness. Forgiveness. I'm telling you what. We have somebody's... And there's heart here. Because we have a, somebody stabbed in the heart right here. And this is heart. So something to do with the heart. Heartbreak. This is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. Anyhow, um, this is definitely a turning point. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. That's no life. Okay, so it's time to leave the past hurts behind. This is this is the healing. Healing of the heart. It's time to heal the heart. This is releasing pain. Somebody, and I tell you what. So, Page of Swords. Now, this, somebody is probably going to be receiving a message. It's probably not a good message, okay? When you get the Page of Swords in reverse, it's usually bad news. Okay, so somebody may be receiving some bad news, okay? And it may have something to do with some heartbreak or, you know, even could be heart issues, Okay, somebody may have some heart issues, okay? Poor, unhealthy heart. I'm just being honest with you. Anyhow, um, there's also some abandonment issues here as well. Somebody has abandoned another person. They may be needing uh, to forgiveness or asking for forgiveness or something like that. There's difficulty in communication here. It's like there's nothing left to say or somebody wasn't communicating. They, they were tongue-tied. But I do feel, I feel as though there's going to be some sort of resolution. I, I, there's, there is. There's some sort of resolution. Somebody's going to be judged for their, and this is non-action. You know, not taking action probably towards a child. They're, they're forgiven, you know, it may not be a child. doesn't have to be. Okay, but... This is somebody abandoning, I don't know, maybe a child. It doesn't have to be, but abandoning somebody, breaking somebody's heart. There's karma here, because this is karma. But this is a new start. It's going to be very emotional, because the Ace of Cups is emotional. Things are going to get better. Things are. Ace of things are going to get better because something is coming to the end. The third party, the third party situation or the, the gang up or whatever it is, is coming to an end. So things are about to, I think there's a turning point. Things are going to get better now. Oh, it's been extremely stressful. A lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. Guilt. Somebody been feeling guilty and maybe they are guilty. <laughs> does feel like we have some regrets. 
there's going to be some regrets. There's going to be regrets over uh, not taking action or something like that. Somebody's going to be held accountable. Karma works in mysterious ways. So this is being held accountable. See the judgment pointing over at, you know, leaving somebody stranded. That's what it looks like to me. Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords. Regrets. I just want to say regrets. And I know that card means so much more, but this is extremely regretful. This is, and it is sad. I do feel like there's some sort of sadness here, even though the Ace of Cups is happiness, but there's sadness that comes with it. Um, Page of Wands. So their message is definitely coming. Okay, a message is coming. All of a sudden, too, there's going to be a wake-up call. Somebody's going to get a wake-up call of some sort. But anyway, the Page of Wands, this is a new adventure. Somebody's going to be taking a new adventure. They're going to be taking a risk. This is risky. They're, it's like they didn't take it before, but they're taking it now. Okay? They didn't take it before, but they're taking it now. They're taking. For some reason, they didn't take it before. They didn't take it before. I don't know why. Because they, were, because they were ashamed. Maybe they thought they wouldn't be accepted. They thought they wouldn't be forgiven. Who knows? Ooh, King of Swords. The message may be coming from a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Anyhow, um... This is a new start in love. It's a new beginning. This is getting what you deserve. There could be some sort of, uh, well, judgment is the end of the trial. It's the end. It's the, it is. It's the end of the trial. You've reached the end. It's time for the decision. It's time for the, uh, well, the penalty or the sentence or the absolution or whatever it is. It's either a yay or nay, right? It's either you're free or you're not. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's going to be a decision. This is it. This is the final call. Okay, it is, it is, it is. And a message is coming. Okay, a message is coming. It's Somebody has gone through some sort of awakening or some sort of spiritual awakening. And this is a realization. <laughs> Now, the King of Swords is delivering the message. I believe this is, there's a message that is coming, but it's coming from this person. This person is not delivering a message that you want to hear, okay? Because somebody else has decided, which is interesting. There's a couple people here. And I feel like there's, there's people talking. I feel like there's a bunch of people talking, okay? There is. There's people talking. Um, but this King of Swords has some sort of information. It is not good news. It's challenging information. <coughs> but it is, it's, a, it's about a fresh start. It's about a new beginning, which is interesting. Ooh, King of Wands. It's about this person fire sign because we have we have Libra Gemini Aquarius then we have Aries Leo Sagittarius so we do is we have a fire sign and an air sign here I feel like the air sign is or it could go vice versa it could definitely go vice versa but some this guy he don't look happy he's got the information that's the truth that's the word okay this person is taking action this is the guy that is taking action which and he didn't take action before because he didn't see something, you know, he didn't have any vision or drive or ambition or he was scared. There's fear here or guilty or afraid of being found guilty. You know, fear, f f not wanting to deal with the consequences. Anyhow, but this three of swords reverse, this is letting go. It is letting go of the past hurts and asking for forgiveness. So somebody may be asking for forgiveness or they may be saying, I'm sorry. And I don't say that very often. Okay. 
not a lot of people. I mean, some people can say I'm sorry, but if you're dealing with a narcissist, a narcissist can't say they're sorry. But anyhow, um, I don't feel like this is a narcissist. Maybe. I doubt it, though. It doesn't look like it. I feel like this person is, whoever this guy takes action, is given to take action. It's gaining their strength. So somebody is gaining and, re and no fear. Letting go of fear. So we have somebody here that is letting go of fear. And they're taking a new adventure. Okay? So somebody is deciding to basically take a risk as well. But somehow this guy is involved. He's got some sort of information. He's making the call. He's not happy by the looks of things. I mean, this guy don't look happy. It's like this guy didn't consult him either, which is interesting. So we have two men here. This guy, let's see what this guy is doing. He's leaving without saying goodbye. He's doing something. He's, he's, uh, he may have some unfinished business. He may have some unfinished business with somebody. Now this could be, you know, lack of closure. The world reversed. No success here. No willpower. This guy has no more willpower. He's ready to accept, or he needs to accept. This guy in cut, he needs to accept and cut his losses. This is, something is over. It's been over. Maybe it's the third party. I don't know. He didn't have the drive or the ambition or the desire or something to take action. But now he does. Now he has this sudden desire to just, I feel like, just go somewhere. Anyhow, this world card reversed. There's unfinished business. This guy's got some unfinished business. I feel like there's sadness. This is sadness, feeling guilty. Somebody's gonna be feeling guilty, or they are guilty. They may be found guilty. Hangman, hangman. This is the hangman is somebody that you know needs to let go. So somebody, you're gonna be letting go. Somebody's gonna be letting go. They're going to be letting go. And it ain't going to be easy. There's a lesson that needed to be learned. Somebody has... is, And it's like they didn't successfully complete their lesson. They didn't learn their lesson. This is didn't learn their lesson. This is needing to learn a lesson. But they didn't learn their lesson. Now they're going to be judged. So that's always fun. Anyhow, somebody's going to be judged or for not learning their lesson. Karma was going to probably... Or it has. You know, karma works in mysterious ways. Now the hangman is a new perspective is needed. Somebody's gonna is gonna be they have been thinking about everything that has happened. Okay? Now they've become enlightened and they're ready. They're I feel like they're ready because I do. I feel like they're just this person is ready. They're ready to experience a new life but they're very or they're or they're ready to reconcile they want another chance or or something be, become enlightened somebody has become enlightened through some sort of pain through some sort of karma perhaps now they they have an opportunity for a fresh start because that ace of cups is a new start in love but this is parting ways from a third party. There's unfinished business. So there's unfinished business. Somebody, I feel like there's a reconciliation with somebody, you know, that they were with at one point. And I don't know what that means. This could be somebody I mean, of a different world, okay? You know, and I, and I know that's hard to explain, but, you know, it could be somebody that... Uh,
you know, you were with a past life. Because this is like a past life thing. Okay? So, um, I do believe that there is a new suitor here. There's somebody that is perfect for you. Okay? That is somebody that is perfect. Uh, it's, a perfect it's a perfect opportunity to... Uh, well, what I want to say is be the, be the one that you're meant to be with. Okay? That's what I'm dying to say. So, um, we have an individual here that is going to be delivering a very difficult message. And I do think it's a difficult one. I feel like, um... There's been some sort of, uh, lack of closure, a lack of closure. This cycle isn't over. It's not over yet. It needs to be dealt with. Um, my King of Wands wouldn't take action. It's almost like it's no there's no success and they've learned that they hadn't learned their lesson and maybe they've received some karma somebody's getting karma they didn't learn their lesson this is like punishment so there could be some punishment coming and maybe there's fear of what the punishment will be I, I do feel like that is the case there I do feel like I do I feel like there's fear of what the punishment will, will be and this person just didn't have the courage to uh step forward into the light because remember i said there's light at the end of the tunnel so i feel like there was definitely a lot of fear somebody was trapped in their thoughts trapped in their mind you know and they were fearful fearful to step outside of their safety zone but i feel as though they are going to step out of their safety zone because that's what their heart is telling them to do so there is a new start in love here there absolutely is with somebody that you have known before. Okay? They're, this is Whatever's happening, there's going to be... Uh, there's movement, okay? There's forward movement. There's going to be a transformation. Somebody is going someplace. They're moving. They're on the road, okay? They're taking the high road. They're taking a journey. They're going someplace. They're getting in the driver's seat, and they're, they're replacing that fear with faith, and they're headed. They're headed. They're headed to where their heart wants them to go. That's what I see. That is exactly what I think is happening. So somebody has decided to take a journey. They've decided to take a ride. They're deciding to go. They are determined. They are determined. They're determined. They are very mentally strong. They're determined to change their, their direction in some way. They've become enlightened. They have been in, come enlightened because of pain. They have been, they've suffered some sort of pain by not taking action. Which is interesting. So, I do feel like we have some movement here. Somebody is going to be taking a journey. Uh... They are very determined to go, too. It's like their mind is made up. You can't change their mind. They know what they want, and they're going. They're going. They're ready to face the opposition. They're ready to face the music, per se. So, um, but there is a parting of ways. Because that is parting of ways. Somebody is making the choice. They're making the decision. This is the decision. It is the, it is. They've been struggling, really, really, really struggling. They may have been struggling with their ego. They were struggling with their ego. But now they have a strong desire. It's like, I have to go. It's so, I mean, it's bright. They got to go. They got to go. And they're extremely worried about being rejected. But will they be rejected? Well, I guess everybody's situation is different, huh? 
Well, we just, oh, ah, wow, that ain't pretty. Anyhow, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, there's a, I mean, this is a horrendous loss. This is a setback. This is bad luck. This is a past mistakes coming back to haunt somebody. Death is a separation. It is a loss. But it leads to a big, a uh, big, uh, a new beginning. Okay. So we do have the end of something. Somebody has been resisting it. They have been resisting change. They have been resisting change because of fear. They've been clinging to control and their past mistakes have definitely been coming back to haunt them. And they've been repeating and they're going to repeat. They're going to repeat. God damn it. They're going to repeat it again. Son of a bitch. Oh, King of Pentacles reversed. We have somebody here that is going to have, they're, they may want another chance and they're, they, you know, it's somebody that is very materialistic. This person is very materialistic. They're very focused on money and things and uh, everything but love. And maybe that was the lesson they should have learned. Uh, there is a, there's a chance for change here because death in death, there is an opportunity for a new life. There's an opportunity for a new beginning. Should somebody learn from their mistakes, they will probably be given another chance. This is a horrendous loss. It feels like somebody is, is leaving without saying goodbye. You know, there's a lack of closure. There's unfinished business. This individual right here is very much focused on everything but love. And their ego is huge. But now they have an opportunity for love because this is an opportunity for love. But they have to make the right judgment call. And act with integrity. And ask for forgiveness. So interesting. There is an opportunity for a new beginning here. Whether you take it or not, well, that's up to you. I would say that something is going to, it's going to have something very sudden. This is a shock. You're going to receive some shocking news. It, this is very, it's a surprise, okay? It is a complete surprise. I don't think it is, well, on one hand, and I'm surprised you don't have the justice card because I feel like on one hand, it's good news, but on the other hand, it's not. I think we have a sudden uh, departure or a sudden arrival. Somebody is moving very, very fast. They are. They, and you can't stop this person. No, and This person's mind is made up. They are moving very, very fast towards... They're on a mission. This person is on a mission. They're moving towards a new life. And this could be a sudden ending. It is sudden. This is sudden. This is an ending. This sudden ending leads to a new start in love. It does. I, it is going to be emotional. Be prepared to be having conversations, probably with multiple people over whatever this circumstance is. And somebody's going to hear, I'm sorry. Good luck.